y'all so thank you so much for tuning into my channel i know it's been a while since i uploaded my last video and i have really good reasons why i haven't been uploading i've been in the process of moving so now um, i relocated from georgia to new jersey and for those who don't know my husband he is military so we tend to move around a lot so for those ladies who are familiar with that then you know what I'm going through. Now that my family and I are settled, I am um, able to record more videos and I will have more videos to come. So, so now that we are approaching spring, I wanted to show you one of my makeup routines that I use normally for the spring and the summer months. Now I tend to go for a light to sheer foundation. I don't like a lot of products on my face or foundation but I do love for my skin to look flawless and I feel you can achieve that without piling on a lot of foundation. The product I'm going to be using is the Cogent Doe and it's in the number 302. So I did a review on this product like ooh, eight months ago could be longer I absolutely love this product but I will advise you it is extremely expensive for this little tube but it does last a long time and a little does go a long way now I love this for several reasons it makes your skin look flawless with little to no product and it doesn't look cakey so you're not look you're not walking around looking like you're wearing a lot of makeup it looks like you just have really good skin and that's the only thing I can't explain about this. I absolutely love this and I paid $62 for it. And if I can find this color again, I will pay the $62 again because I love it. So I'm going to stop rambling and you can go ahead and check out the video if you're looking for a flawless finished makeup. So thank you so much for supporting me. If you have any suggestions or videos you would like to see, please leave them in the comment section below. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! So I've already primed my face and now I'm going to go in with my Cogent Doe foundation in the color 302. And I'm just going to take about three small dots and that's all I need for my face. Now the reason why I'm only using a little is because a little goes a long way with this foundation. And as I stated earlier, I want this to be a very sheer uh, coverage. Now I'm just blending out the foundation with a damp beauty blender and this just helps for it to give a more natural look. Now that I've blended out my foundation, I'm going to take my Estee Lauder concealer and it's in the color Extra Deep and I'm going to conceal any scarring. Now I do have a scar on my nose, it's been there forever, I don't even know how I got it but it is what it is. Now with concealing, you can conceal before you apply your foundation or after. I tend to conceal after I apply my foundation. This just basically helps me gauge how much product I need to use. But like I stated earlier, it's just a personal preference. Now I'm going in with the same concealer but a different color. So this is in the color Deep and it's about one to two shades lighter than my uh, skin tone and I just highlight with this. And the reason why I gravitate to um, Estee Lauder concealers when I'm going for a natural makeup look um, is because it's a full coverage, but 
it really looks flawless and it doesn't settle into any fine lines. And I really love that. It gives you that awake look, but it doesn't crease on you. So what I do is I go back and forth with my Real Techniques brush and my Beauty Blender just to blend out the foundation so that it won't leave any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to take my setting powder, and it's by Sasha Cosmetic, and it's in the color Buttercup. And I'm going to apply it to the areas where I apply the lighter foundation, and this is just going to help with it not creasing and for it to stay into place. Next, I'm going to take a brush and just uh, brush off the excess powder. Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl uh, bronzer and it's in the color Ebony Bronze and I'm going to contour with it. Now I'm taking my La Femme blush and it's in the color Peach Sparkle and I'm going to apply it lightly to my cheeks. Now I don't know why but it's not picking up on camera but off camera it is a really nice light flush of color. Um, I don't know it's my lighting so I need to work with it a little so bear with me but yeah that's what I use so use Peach Sparkle. Now I'm going to go into my Missy Lynn palette and I'm going to use the gold for a little bit of highlighting just to give me that sun kiss glow. It's all about the glow. Let's see, deep door. Next I'm going to set everything off with my Urban Decay setting spray and it's the oil control, the oil control and I love the setting spray. It's pretty on the uh, pricey side but you can never go wrong with it. Now I'm going to take my MAC um, lip liner and it's in the color cork and I'm going to line my lips and also fill them in with this lip liner. Next for the lipstick, I'm going to take Fresh Brew and chow, this Fresh Brew I'm using, it is toe up to the floor. I need to get me a new one. I'm almost out of it, but yeah, I love this as a nude, so I'm going to use that on top of the cork lip liner. Now ladies, you know I love my oranges, so for a henna color, I'm just going to apply that to the center of my lips. And then I just decided to apply it all over, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> So that is it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will be back with more videos, so please stay tuned. And please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.